Hi, this is John Cook with Rockwood Flagstaff Engineering, and today we're going to talk about how to reset breakers and replace fuses uh, in the converter box. So basically, anytime something uh, on the electrical side is not working, all of the fuses and breakers that you need to check to make sure and flip back on or replace to get that running again. So everything in the RV will either run on 120 volt AC or on 12 volt DC. Um, things that run on your 120 volt AC system would be uh, any of the recepts throughout the RV, the air conditioner, uh, microwave, the electric water heater, washer dryer, uh, the converter that charges your battery. So if something on the 120 volt side is not working, uh, the first uh, thing you probably want to do is go to your converter and check all of your breakers. Uh, each circuit has its own breaker and you'll see that it will be flipped to the off position. Uh, if it has tripped, you're just going to want to flip it back on. There's also a main breaker that will actually turn 120 volt electricity off to the entire uh, RV if that gets tripped. So you want to turn that back on. Uh, also, a lot of times where you plug in to shore power uh, at the campground or wherever you're at, there's usually a breaker there that also could be tripped that you need to flip back on. One other place that uh, could have had a uh, breaker tripped is your GFI circuits. Uh, our, the RVs from Rockwood Flagstaff have up to two circuits on the GFI, so you need to make sure to locate the GFI and there's a reset button and push the reset button and that will turn back on any of your re recepts that uh, weren't working uh, with the GFI off. Everything else in the RV, uh, except what was listed uh, before in the video, will run on 12 volt. Now, unlike the 120 volt uh, system that has breakers, the 12 volt, uh, if you look at your converter, has fuses. So if uh, something isn't working on the 12 volt side, uh, you, you need to check the fuses. And now when a fuse is out, there will be a light that turns on next to that fuse. Uh, instead of, I guess, switching it back on like a breaker, you are gonna have to take that fuse out and replace the fuse. Uh, just note that we do have some resettable 12 volt fuses that you have to push a button on them and that will turn them back on as opposed to replacing them. If there aren't any blown fuses and you're still having issues with power to something, uh, there are mini breakers and inline fuses that are located throughout the RV. Uh, contact your local dealer to help diagnose if you're still having issues. Thanks for watching this video. Stay tuned for more.